I actually got woke up. It, it, whenever it gets announced, I was asleep. And somebody called me, they're like, congrats, man. I'm like, what are you talking about? They're like, you haven't seen the internet yet, have you? I was like, no, you just woke me up. And then I, <laughs> I saw what it was for, and I didn't mind being woken up. Having a song that's at nine and nine weeks is pretty unbelievable. Uh, you're rocking a new look there, Brian. Got a little beard going, a little, bit, yeah, a little yeah. beardage, you know. Um, just kind of went for it. The know? man. The man, the man beard. Look. The man beard. The man beard. I yeah. don't know. You got the man bun, I got, I got the man the bun, beard. He's got the beard. <laughs> <laughs> you got the hat on the man bun, though. That's there, right. there you go. Uh, Vegas is a good town for you guys. You like coming out here? Here's the key to Vegas. I got two tips. Stay hydrated and don't stay longer than three days. Three, four days, right? That's, is that that's our great tips? advice, yeah. that, that is hilarious because that's exactly some advice I give to somebody. I said, you come to Vegas for a weekend, you don't come for a week. Because yes. if you come to Vegas for a week, you've got a problem or two yeah. waiting for you. I'd say three, days, mo three yeah. days at the most. I mean, I never in a million years thought that I would be nominated for Album of the Year at this award show. So I, that one is like a... That's a huge one. Um, you know, even if I don't win, just just to just to be nominated in that category means the world. And and obviously, you know, to be nominated for single record of the year with with a song that has changed my life and changed my career, um, you know, it, it would be really really cool to win that one for sure. I think I think I think everybody wanted to punch me uh, as as that song kept being, especially Dan and Shay. They were they were super super jealous about that. I'm kidding. Um, but no, man, it, it was really really cool. You know, to, to have a number one song period is is a, a, such a blessing. But to watch it. You know, sit there for six weeks or whatever it was is, is crazy. Now, I think it's funny that uh, this is your fifth number one. Yeah. And you're racking up so many number ones that this week, while it was number one, you were trying to have a party for your fourth number one song. Yes. You can't even get caught it's up. It's so weird. I, I've not, I never thought I'd have that problem. I'm fine with that problem, <laughs> but I just, you know, I just remember fighting and fighting and fighting to get one number one, and now it's just momentum is a beautiful thing sometimes and people are just really taking a liking to my music so I'm going to keep making it for them. You know what's funny is that uh, I mention this all the time I know but on your Wikipedia page the picture that's there is you sitting in our Oh studio yeah that's right. After you played basketball that day so. That's right. I always love that little Yeah thing. I had the red I had the red shoes on from the the red tour with Taylor Swift I had the red Nike shoes on right. that I got for the red tour and I, I was wearing like my workout clothes. Well luckily we just bought a house and luckily there's a like an office in the house that has a bunch of like bookshelves so it works out great. So I got plenty of room just in case any more of them come. <laughs> Attention ACM yeah, voters, Jason Hill. Yes. In case anybody listening. But, uh, no, but it's it's cool. And, you know, obviously, I mean, anytime you win something like that, I mean, you're very proud of it. And, and um, you know, I, I definitely have them up, displayed, you know, the, the ones that I have won over the years. And, and you know, very, very proud of them for sure. You've had a chance to work with some people that you, you have – been big fans of like that too besides rascal flats who, who were some of the other memorable people that you when you first came to nashville and got together and started working man we got to tour with blake shelton a couple years ago which was a blast we're trying to get a co-write with this guy thomas rett we were uh, trying to get this guy thomas but we got he stuck with it yeah we got stuck with his dad instead and you know we, we just read a lot of his no, i'm just kidding <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. 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 thomas t-shirt what Thomas the heck? Red is coming to taunt us over here. This is uh, the summer of 19, you and me. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. Why don't you right. sing it for us, dude? I'd love cool. to hear that. Very um. nice. <laughs> Thomas Red, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. He's actually so our camera guy right now. There. You have fans all over this yeah. industry, don't you? Because I swear I saw you in the food court on Friday morning at 1.30. Yeah. That was you? Yeah. All right, so I was on my way over here because we're on East Coast time. In Indianapolis, I had to start my show at two o'clock in the morning, Las Vegas time. Uh, yeah. So at one thirty, I was getting up, and of course in Las Vegas, nobody's asleep at one thirty. The place yeah. was still jumping like it was, you know, <laughs> nine o'clock at night. And I walked by the food court, and I was like, I'm pretty sure that's Kane Brown. Yeah, it was good. I yeah. never had New York pizza, and that was it was delicious. Oh, is that what you were doing? You yeah. came all the way to Vegas for some New York pizza, yeah? Yeah, I know it, was <laughs> but it was the only thing that was open. It was that or McDonald's. In the summer rain, <laughs> dancing in the rain, no music.